This is Dion's house. One of the fastest guys ever in the NFL. Used to be. Ride around on one of them little hover things now, a little motorized tricycle, you know what I'm talking about? You see them older people riding in. I can beat Dion running. And today is the day we put it all on the line. We put it all on the line today, me and Pride. Pride! Dion Sanders! He gonna hit me. He gonna hit me and we gonna do this today. Y'all watch it? Witness it? Roll with Tommy. I like the way soccer people celebrate. They go all out. Praise the Lord. Tell primetime nephew Tommy out here. Uh, okay. It's nephew Tommy? Nephew Tommy. That's what he said, nephew Tommy. Can you tell Deion Sanders, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, tell him I'm out here. Open up the gate. We you want? Um, nephew Tommy. Okay. Oh. He's supposed to do something with you. Okay, you can come in. Cool. Let's do this. Man, how you gonna roll up on me like this on the Saturday? I'm in here chilling with my family. I just came here to get some stuff settled between me and you, man. Get some stuff settled? Come on, Twilight, talk to me, Twilight. man. Twilight? Twilight. You used to be prime time. You Twilight now. Because you ain't prime no more. Man, I don't swap on people for much less a thing. What do you want, though? Okay, all I'm saying is, man, I can't sleep at night, baby. Is that my problem? I can't. No, that ain't your problem. Is that my problem? But, but maybe you can help me with it. Where my dogs at? Where my dogs? I need my dogs. Like <laughs> yeah, come dog. on, man. I came over here to run you in 40 yards. You came all the way in a race room? Yes. I drove all the way out here to race you for 40 you know yards. I'm gonna get you what I'm gonna give you what you want. Okay. Not what you need, I'm gonna give you what okay. you want. Well you've been hearing me talking about you what you want. You've been hearing me talking about it. I've been then talking about it on the radio on that. Hey, let's get this over with. Let's 40 get this over yards with. and I'm out your life. 40 yards. 40 yards. The same way you've been talking about it on the radio. I want the same expression, the same intensity, the same passion. Talk about it that way, I got serious. It ain't wearing no shoes. Give it. You ain't wearing no shoes. Too bad for the baby. Like we used to back in the day. You see me bouncing now? I got my swag that just showed up. <laughs> now what you want to do? What you That's what do? I want. What you I want the do? best prime can bring. And you going to get it. Okay, good. Let's go get this. How I get, get back around the back. But I want you to walk right now. Come on, man. Now, you ain't but... coming to my house. You came here on now. I ain't even tell you to come over here. But you going to leave with what you came for. All right. Mm -hmm. I got mine. What's though. that? Uh, it's, just, it's all about getting ready. Mm -hmm. Preparation. Preparation. Let's do this. Walk. See, there, make me walk. Let's go around the back. Man. That's how you gonna treat me. Disrespectful. Watched all your games. Baddest cornerback ever. Look how you treated me though. When I come to your house and try to show you love, just to try to handle me. So what do you tell me what? Nothing. I'm fool on tried me. For what? I wanna race. Race? Yeah, I'm gonna go serve too, baby. <laughs> you guys are serve. gonna race? Serve. Tired of folks trying me like this. Next thing you know, Ricky Smiley people coming around here trying me. Well, whatever you do, honey, don't make me look bad. People know you're my husband. What's our name? This ain't no back. This what we do. That's eight I'm garages. We dominate. What? All right. Call up our name. Call the crowd. I got us, baby. Hey, watch what I wear. So Dion and I are watching TV, eating popcorn, you know, enjoying our family marriage time, right? And we get a phone call. It's nephew Tommy. Time for the nephew to show who he is. 43 years old, baby, and I still got it. I ain't lost it. When I first heard Tommy wanted to challenge me in the race, I thought he had lost his mind. But you got to keep in mind, he's a comedian and a very good one at that. And this is one of his best jokes ever. Because this is what I do. This is what I've done. The house that you're filming at right now, this is how I built this house. Because of what I do athletically. And here go this fool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here go this young fine gentleman. 
want to challenge me. I thought he was crazy. That's why I called him Twilight. <laughs> you in a different time zone, baby. <laughs> you, you ain't prime no more. <laughs> I see my husband out there. <laughs> and one thing you got to understand is that my husband is always going to be better than. If you're 4'5", I'm 4'4". Just in case any of y'all want to try me and show up at my gate like Tommy. I still got some, and it's real. If you 4'2", I'm 4'1". So he's now fashioned down, and he's watching his opponent. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer for Nephew Thomas. What he's not realizing is that you can never lose your nickname. I'm still prime. And let me tell you what my gift is. I put pressure on people. As you can see, my competitor, if I choose to call him that, is perspiring. It's about a hundred or something like that. And I ain't sweating a bit because I'm cool, comfortable. That's because you use Tussie deodorant. That's why. He's about to lose his mind. He's stretching. He's working hard. He's trying to convince himself that he can do this. I didn't know the fool was cunning. Let's get that straight. And I do what I would normally do when a fool of that status and stature challenges me for a race. He's absolutely nothing. He's in there riding around on a hover. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because of feet back. Feet back, why? Because he was running all them things. But see, he ain't got nothing left. Ain't nothing left. The nephew got it. I got it. I still got it. Had it years ago. Still got it. I ain't lost it. <laughs> you he say the champ is here. <laughs> the champ is here. When you watch Animal Kingdom, have you ever seen a cheetah stretch before he go get his prey? Mm -mm. I'm the cheetah. That's my prey. Let's do what we do, baby. There wasn't no use in stretching, getting ready, mentally, emotionally. This Tommy, man. I'm racing against Tommy. Y'all be for real. While Tommy was warming up, I could tell he was nervous perspiring profusely. Sort of like an alcoholic, a crackhead, and a non-athletic man preparing. That, that all that culminated into one, and, and he was nervous. Then I saw him work on his starts, and his right leg looked a little shaky. You know, his right leg looked like it was a little shorter than the other one. You know, like, like, like yeah, yeah, something like that. And, and I knew right then I had it. All I had to do was get out on him. I, that was my plan. I'm going to get out on him and put pressure on him and make him just bust. I got out on him and just because I care about you all and I care about Tommy because he's national. He has a national audience every morning. I didn't really want to humiliate him and high step on him and dance on him. So I just got out the hole on him and just looked back at him just to know. Tommy, I know you're back there. Tommy, are you, st Tommy, are you still back there? Tommy! Tommy! They ain't gonna come challenge me in front of my kids. First of all, I'm not gonna lose in front of my kids. How they gonna respect their daddy after Tommy uh, come over here and beat me? Tommy, man. Frank calling Tommy. Look, you know what? If I didn't have to walk all the way Tommy. around the house, I had to walk all the way around the house. Tommy. It, it took me 20 minutes to get around Tommy, the house. Stop. I would have had a lot more energy if the man would have let me through his house. Tommy, you, you could have had five hour energy when they helped me. I, that's what I take. I, you know what? I didn't have that either. I that's didn't. your problem. And the only reason I did you like I did you because you came over here on and out. I didn't ask you to come. I moved out here to get away from you. And you still showed up at my door on a weekend and then interrupted my family. So I had to embarrass you, Tommy. You got humiliated. I didn't get humiliated, Prime. Humiliated. I did not get humiliated. Now, I, 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 I may feel a little down about it, but I ain't humiliated. Tommy, I, you, you, you got served. Hey, I bet you, I'll tell you what, though. What? I bet you can't beat me fish. I bet you that. I bet you you can't beat me fish. And you're smelling like uh, icy hot over here. That's all right. I bet you can't beat me fish. Baby, go get the pole. He can't beat me fishing. I promise y'all, he cannot beat me fishing. I done caught all kinds. You know how I caught a chicken fish? A chicken fish? A chicken fish. That's a fish that ate a chicken. You ain't never caught one of them, man. Tell me, stop. All right, I done caught a chicken well, fish. Tell me what's next. I done caught a squirrel I, I, fish. I, I know I'm going to beat you down in this. Yeah, be, uh, look, how many bass so do you have be, in here? We're going to be dancing next. We're going to do that. We're going to have a fish fry this evening. That's what we're going to have. You got to stop. You got to do something about my leg, man. I ain't going to lie. Get my leg. Get my leg.